and we're back and I'm so excited to bring to uh, one of our great phenomenal jazz musicians, Mr. <laughs> Eric Essence. want to welcome you to the Alabama Way. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure to be here. Now, you have started the Eric Essex Foundation, so yes. tell us all about that. That is so exciting. Well, <clears throat> it kind of goes back about 20 years when this whole thing started. I started doing um, performances in schools as part of a program that was founded by the Alabama State Count Council on the Arts. And what they would do is they would um, book these performances for us in high schools and middle schools all across the state of Alabama, but mostly in rural areas, you know, underserved counties. So we go into these schools and we would do live performances. And in addition to live performances um, for the entire student body, we would also do clinics and workshops. We do Q and A's with the whole student body. And, um, and it just started catching on. And we, we, it's the first time I'd ever done anything like that. It was, um, uh, outreach was totally new to me. But I immediately liked it, you know, connecting with kids. And mm -hmm. I saw how enthusiastic they were about the performances, and they had these great questions. And um, in 1995, I did one at Huffman High School here in Birmingham, or in Huffman. And this guy gets up, and he's, he's like, well, Mr. Essex, what, what can I do to get into the music business? And I answered his question, and he said, well, I'm a singer, and I really want to, you know, do blah, blah, blah. And I said, okay. And all the students were trying to get him to sing. That student was Ruben Studdard. Really? Yep. He reminds me of that every time I see him. What a small world. Small world. And, you know, when I saw him on that, that stage at American, I, I didn't even know who he was at the time, of course. He made me realize that he was like, you remember when you came to Huffman High School? I was like, yeah. He said, remember the guy who asked you? And I was like, yeah. He said, that was me. Amazing. And I said, oh, my God. And so that... <clears throat> that story right there really kind of brought it home for me, the importance of doing this kind of work. You know, and that was in 1995 when, I, when we at, were at Huffman. And I've been doing this since 1993. A couple years ago, a friend of mine said, you know, because I've been financing a lot of it myself in conjunction with the Arts Council. Mm -hmm. and a friend of mine said, you know, if you want to further your work, you should properly start a foundation and raise money so that you can do more. And that's when I filed, you know, with the IRS and, and started this foundation. It's a 501c3 nonprofit. And um, we just raised money to continue to do this type of work, not just in the underserved counties, but in urban, urban areas as well, like Birmingham and uh, Mobile, Huntsville. So um, hopefully we can spread the, you know, spread the work that we're doing around to uh, areas that we don't typically get to go to. Well, my question, Eric, is that you are a jazz artist. Mm -hmm. A lot of young people, in my mind, I could be wrong, are not into jazz because there is no Jay-Z of, of jazz. Right. There is no Tupac of jazz. <laughs> right. How do you get kids to get into jazz music? It's so funny. You, you would think that it would be a tough sell with kids these days. But a lot of times, <clears throat> I think it's, it's more about what people are, young people are exposed to. Mm -hmm. They may not have ever known what a, uh, it is to go to a jazz concert and experience live music, uh, instrumental music like that. So when they see it and they get a sense of it and then you talk to them about the history and, and how this music influences the music that you listen to right now, mm -hmm. hip hop, you know, all of this stuff has its roots in other forms of music. Because not only do we talk about jazz, we talk about R&B, we talk about the blues, we talk about gospel, we talk about spirituals, and we relate those types of music with what they're listening to now and then you can see the light bulb come on they're like oh okay i get it you know they see beyonce singing at last well they don't know that that song was done by etta james right they don't know the history behind it when you break that stuff down to them and you know they begin to see it then they can relate so while they may not have you know image uh you know role models like jay-z in jazz they begin to see the connection um, that the music has with what they're listening to currently. And that's what we do, you know, it's just all about bringing it full circle, you know, letting kids know. And so they, they do become interested. 
and they want to know more about it. Of course, we don't reach everybody, mm -hmm. but that's not the goal to reach everybody. We try to reach as many as we can and try to get as many young people interested in the music as we can. So with the foundation, is it a week-long camp, or a, a, how many days is it, and what all does it consist of? It's usually, um, we usually do a tour of the state. It could be anywhere from, oh well, until the money runs out. We, we do as many schools as we can, but it can be anywhere from 10 schools to 20 schools. Not only do we do schools, but we do libraries, we do churches, We've done um, juvenile detention facilities. Wow. Um, uh, so we, we do tons of different kinds of stuff. And, and we primarily reach out to young people, but we also reach out to people in the community too. You know, when we do churches, all kinds of people come out. Mm -hmm. And we do gospel music. We do a wide range of music, not just jazz, but we try to reach people where they are. We try to tailor our performances and the music to the audiences that come out to see us. And I'm, I'm going to tell you, you know, I've been doing, making music for 30 years, and that stuff, this work, is the most rewarding stuff that I do. Really? It is. It's more fun than anything that I've done. So what inspired you to be a jazz artist? Because you could have been a Jay-Z, you could have done blues, you could have mm -hmm. done rock or country, but you yeah. chose jazz. I chose jazz when I heard um, West Montgomery. Uh, I heard West Montgomery playing a song called California Dreaming on the guitar instrumentally. Now, the song was out as a vocal song, but when I heard Wes playing it on the guitar, playing the melody, I was like, oh my God, I didn't know you could do that. And that's what kind of set me on that course to jazz. Amazing. Yeah. yeah. So every year you put on this huge jazz concert, and yep. this year I think it's Jazzscape, is that right? Jazz Escape. Uh, it happens every Labor Day weekend out at the Renaissance Ross Bridge. And we bring in artists, um, you know, for a couple of days to do performances, major label artists. This year we have Eric Darius and Alex Bunyan as the headliners. And we encourage people, because most of the time people travel when, on Labor Day. So we're encouraging people from all around the region to come to Birmingham and spend some time to relax and enjoy, you know, some good jazz music and good times at the Renaissance. And so that's the entire weekend. Was that yes. Friday, Saturday, Sunday? Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Okay. The major concerts are on the 5th and the 6th, which is that Saturday and Sunday. So since you've been doing the concerts, is it mainly adults? Or are you starting to see a trend with more younger people coming out? Well, this is mainly for adults because, you know, you got to buy hotel packages. And, you know, so it's, it's you know, they're things you have to pay for. And, and it's disposable income, you know what I mean? So right. um, we see a few young people, but it's mostly um, that jazz demographic for the most part. We're hoping to change that and maybe have some events that are tailored more towards young people. But right now, it's the, the diehard jazz fans. Excellent. And what are those dates again? The dates are September the 4th through the 6th uh, this year out at the Renaissance Ross Bridge, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, back to the foundation. So if a parent want to maybe get their child involved in the, in the uh, foundation or, mm -hmm. you know, maybe they have a group that maybe they like your services for, mm -hmm. how can they get their kids involved? They can reach out to um, me or someone on my staff through the website. It's uh, ericessexfoundation.org. There's a contact page, and you can, you know, like say, well, we have a group that's interested in having, you know, you come and, and talk to us or play music for us, um, you know, for our young people. And uh, if they reach out and we can work it into our schedule, we'll, we'll come out and try to do something for any, any group. So does the foundation also help with music lessons or just, you know, maybe a parent say, I just need my child to do something positive? Well, you know, we haven't gotten to the place where we do music lessons yet. What we are trying to do is uh, group things. Like we'll do workshops and clinics where we talk about the music industry or we talk about careers in the music business. A lot of times young people are interested in, you know, doing things as producers and songwriters and, oh, I want to be a rapper, you know, and we kind of break it down, you know, uh, to them how, about how they can get into the industry um, and how much sacrifice it takes, how much work it takes, as, as you know. Um, being in this industry is not easy. And a lot of times there's a perception that, well, I'm good enough to do it, mm -hmm. but they don't realize the work that has to go into it as well. So we, we break all that stuff down for them and give them a little bit of a reality check. When we talk about different careers other than being in the spotlight, behind the scenes, there are tons of things that you can do in the industry. And we, 
make those things, you know, um, we expose young people to those things, and, and you know, hopefully they'll, they'll like what they hear and maybe want to go in a different direction in the industry. Yeah, especially if they pull up the, the salaries on behind the scenes. Yes. There are a lot of great opportunities there. Yes, absolutely. Well, absolutely. good. Let our viewers know one more time the website for the foundation. Foundation website is www.ericessexfoundation.org. The event, Jazz Escape, is www.jazzescape.com. And uh, my personal website is ericessex.net. Okay. Well, Eric, I want to thank you so much for joining us. I want to wish you so much success thank on the you. foundation. So parents, you have to get them involved because there is more to, to music than Jay-Z and Beyonce. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll see you out there at Jazz Escape. Thank Wonderful. you so much for joining us, and we'll see you on the next Alabama Way.